kitchen. You cracking the whip in the bistro, isn't it? A couple of hours won't make any difference. Give Mum something to complain about. She's always telling me the place would fall apart without me. I <laughs> uh, wish I could joke like that about the factory. But turn the profit doesn't seem so important. Side two dead bodies in the cemetery, does it? You're way too hard on yourself. No, I'm not. I can't believe I won't see you again. Oh, come on, Nick. I can send each other Christmas cards. Can you come see worse? No, nothing like this. I'm a pariah. The factory's on the brink, I'm broke, so the sooner I'm off, the better. Honestly. Is there any news? I wish I could get it through to you. You're not the monster you think you are. All right. But that's really enough about me for one night, OK? Anyway, what about you and Erica? Hmm? What have you two got planned together? I'm getting on, aren't you? She's an amazing woman. Mm. So there you go, then. I'm a cynic. I'm really pleased for you. I still think what might have happened if she'd not come back. Oh, no. No point dwelling on what might have happened, Nicholas. Remember, regrets are pointless. You tell me that all the time. Yeah, I mean, they are if you can do nothing about them. I am sure you and her have got an amazing future ahead of you. OK? Speaking of which, won't she be wondering where you are? Well, I'm... There's only one thing wrong with her again. One thing? Only one thing? Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> I think I'd settle with one thing, Nicholas. So what is it, this one thing? 